Hi everyone, it's Andy Lasavita, founder of Mile Walk and the Mile Walk Academy and award-winning author of The Hiring Prophecies here with this week's episode of Tips for Work and Life. I've got a little something for all of you out there that maybe had a few too many jobs in your career. You know who you are. You've been accused of being a job hopper or you always seem to get that question in the job interview that asks, why have you had so many jobs? Why haven't you been able to stay in one place? Or some variation of that question. I'm going to tell you exactly how to answer it, but before we do that, I want you to think about what's actually happening when someone, a job interviewer, asks you that question. I am not smart enough, and no one I have ever met is smart enough to take the insight, your insight, to that question and determine whether or not you're going to be a good employee for my company or their company. It's just too great a leap to jump. Some decisions that you made years ago or why you were thinking what you were thinking at the time is not necessarily, is, it's, just, it's not going to help them understand how you're going to fit into their organization. What's really happening and what they really want to know from you is why is it going to be different this time? Why are you going to make a good decision that sticks so that when you come here, you're going to be a successful employee for a lengthy period of time? That's what they want to know. That's what they want to be assured of. And if you think about it, if you're sitting there and you're already getting interviewed, or you're on, a, you're on a phone screen, or you're in a face-to-face -face interview, the employer has already granted that you are qualified. You must have something on the ball. They're just nervous when they ask you that question. So here's what I'd like you to do. When you get that question, I want you to think about taking responsibility. I want you to own all your actions. I also want you to, instead of making it several problems about why you have several jobs, Diffuse it all at once, so make it one question about one issue in your life that you can tackle all at once. And the third thing is you're going to give them your response with a smile and a lot of positivity about why this is going to work going forward. So you're going to take responsibility, you're going to diffuse it all at once, and you're going to tell them exactly why in a happy manner why it's going to work out going forward. So when you get that question, the best response would be something like, you know what? You're right. I do have quite a few jobs in my, in my job history. And I discovered very recently that the reason that I, I, I was having so many, there was a common issue. I wasn't very clear up front on all the different things that I needed in order to be happy in a job, that, that happiness criteria. So I did some self-reflection and I really thought deeply about everything that I needed to make, to make me happy in my work life. So I took a lot of time, I did that reflection, and what that also did for me is it put me in a much better position to evaluate from, from an employer's perspective about whether or not this job opportunity and this company are going to be great for me based on whether or not you match that criteria. So I, I wasn't very skilled at getting that information from an employer. I'm in a much better position now because I've gone through this reflection and I understand specifically what I need to evaluate and how to evaluate it. So now I will be in a much better position to determine whether or not your company is a good one for me. Because when I looked at all those previous jobs, I was looking for what the common thread was. And that's what I found. So I am in a much better position now to evaluate whether or not this is a good, good opportunity for me. So, and then move forward. Now, instead of taking it one job hop at a time, where you run the risk of dragging out the discussion and making them think, oh goodness, it's always something with her. It seems like a different issue every time, but or, or he's just like pig pen. He's got that cloud of rain over, over him over himself wherever he goes. That's what people will think. The longer you drag out that answer, the, the, the more unique each issue is. And don't get me wrong, I recognize that people leave job for various reasons. You have an illness in the family. Your husband or wife could be getting transferred and you're moving the whole family. There's a whole host of reasons why people change jobs. But if you're getting asked the job hopper type question, they're looking for what's the pattern. Take responsibility diffuse it all at once, and talk positively about the action you've taken to overcome it and why that won't be an issue this time. So I hope that really helps. If you're looking for more information about how to do that reflection, all good responses to job interview questions, 
hop on the Tips for Work and Life blog. I've got some great giveaways, some great downloads that'll really help you with reflection and answering job interview questions and all that good stuff. The other thing, I've got some job interviewing webcasts that are coming up, so check those out, and a resume writing workshop. So if you really want to figure out a better way to articulate your resume, sign up for that. All that stuff is in the notes. And if you're watching this, or listening to this on the podcast or watching this somewhere other than my YouTube channel or the blog, hop over to the Tips for Work and Life blog and check it out. Until next time, we'll see you.